Hi everyone, so today we're going to take a look at improving the previous example from uh, J Music or Java Music. So I'm going to go to File, New, Project, start it from scratch, do it a little bit better. Okay, so we're going to just do a simple Java 14 example. Next, we're going to call it uh, Improved Bing. So it's the um, Bing example from earlier. We're just going to improve it. All right. So source, we're going to say new Java class, and we're going to call this um, new and improved Bing. So one of the little tricks I was just shown by one of your excellent TAs is the following. If I just type in the word main like that and hit enter, it fills in everything you need to know about setting up a main method. All right, so I have my public class new improved Bing. I'm going to do some importing here. So I'm going to go import jm.jmc, import jm music dot data and all import jm.util.play. Oops, like that. So now I need to go and get the Java Music library. So how do I do that? I go over here, I go to File, Properties, no, Project Structures. And then I go to Libraries, Add from Maven, Gmusic, Search. There we go. That's the J music I want right there. I say OK. Hit OK. OK. And I've resolved that problem right there. So now I can properly import Java music. All right. So next up, I have my main method right here. And I want to put in some um, some notes. I want to be able to play some notes. So play dot oops, play dot MIDI new note and uh, let's see in this case let's say I wanted a value let's say a value 55 and a duration of 0. Point, I'm just gonna make up a number here something like that okay and semicolon like that now I'm gonna compile And there it played the music. Okay, just a single note. Now, instead of 55, we're going to dive into the constants that are found inside of the Java Music Library. So we're going to take a look in the namespace JMC. In this case, I'm going to put G3 right there. And by including the namespace right here, I can I can get um, hints as to what the note should should be. So over here I'm going to go for duration as well. JMC dot and here I want a particular value right there. So we're going to choose TN. Okay. Next. Play dot MIDI. A new note. GMC, I'm going to go for I'm going to go for another G3. Here's the duration. I'm going to go for the same duration, and then semicolon. Okay, so this right here is G in octave number three for um, 0.125. That's the duration that I'm going for. Same for G right there. Next, I'm going to put an A in octave number three. So play. MIDI, new note, JMC, A3, okay, which has a value 57, and I'm going to go for JMC.TN, so that's that value right there, duration, next play.MIDI, I'm going to go for another G3. Uh, 
play it out MIDI. Nope. New note GMC. In this case, it's going to be C4. Play dot MIDI new note GMC and I'm going to go for so B3 so note oops that's wrong right here hold on there we go B3 and I'm going to do it for again GMC dot for that duration right there all right so now I'm going to play it so it's going to compile. Well, we're going to run it, but hitting that play button. Okay, so you've got it in terms of that's basically happy birthday. It works. Now I can modify these values. So say I wanted to make that last note much longer. I could go 2 multiplied by the duration. Let's try it again. So it, it makes that last one a little bit longer. So there you go. So this is a slightly uh, improved version of the original example. This time we're using the namespace JMC, Java Music, okay, uh, in order to um, better contextualize where the individual constants are coming from. It makes the, the pop-ups a little bit easier to read as well. Okay, good luck everyone.